Hi, my name is Jesse. Recently, a viewer asked for a tutorial on how to install a texture pack in Minecraft 1.12. Well, ever since a couple of years ago, uh, texture packs are now called resource packs. So I'm going to show you how to install a resource pack. I'm also going to show you some settings in Optifine that will affect your textures. If you don't know how to install Optifine, you can check out this video that I produced a while ago, and it'll show you how. So here we are on my desktop. You can see I've already downloaded uh, some of my favorite resource packs. I've got Redcraft, I've got Chroma Hills, my absolute favorite, and then John Smith Legacy, which is a really, really good one. To install them, all we have to do is drag them and drop them into the resource packs folder in the Minecraft install directory. Well, where is that? The easiest way to get there is to type in your uh, search bar or address bar, percent app data, and percent again. Hit enter, and there we are. We've got the Minecraft install directory. Double click that. You've got this, you see this folder that's already, that's already there called resource packs. We'll open that up. Highlight all of the resource packs and drag them in. Hey, look, we've installed a resource pack. Three, actually. So we'll open up Minecraft and take a look. I'll show you how to enable them. Real quick. On the launch options, if you're using a high resolution texture pack, something like uh, 128 or more, uh, I've got a 256, and then there are quite a few 512 resource packs. Um, those are pretty big, and you're going to need a decent amount of RAM in your system to use them. Unfortunately, Minecraft out of the box will not allocate enough RAM for you to use those high resolution texture packs. So what you need to do is modify your launch options. So under JVM arguments, you'll just turn that on and then you'll see this XMX, which means maximum memory. And it's set to one G, one gigabyte. Um, I'm going to set it to eight because I've got a lot of RAM. But if you have eight gigabytes or less, you want to set it to about 75% of what your system RAM is because your operating system is still going to need RAM to use. So if you have eight gigs, you want to set it to maybe six gigabytes of RAM. Uh, change that to a six or if you have four gigabytes you want to set it to three gigabytes of RAM I'm going to set it to eight though Actually, I'm going to use a different version. I've got Optifine here, which my Optifine option, which is already Set to eight gigabytes. So you just click back on news and hit play So here we are in Minecraft. You can see I found this really cool village on the water Should be a pretty good showcase for uh, the different texture packs that we've downloaded uh, so let's get those enabled. So to start, you just go to options and click resource packs. And here you can see the three resource packs that we've installed. Uh, let's turn on John Smith Legacy. So we're going to click this arrow and it's going to come over here to the selected site uh, resource packs column. We're going to hit done. Wait for a minute as it loads all those textures in. And there we are. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty different. That water looks nice. I like that. Um, so Optifine actually has some cool features. Uh, if the resource pack has them, you can turn on alternate textures for the blocks. So you see how these are all the same. These are all cobblestone and they all have the same textures. Well, I know, I know that this texture pack or resource pack has alternate blocks. So, uh, to turn that on, we're going to go to Video Settings. You can see for sure that we do have Optifine installed down here. We're going to click on Details, and there's an option here for Alternate Blocks, and we're going to turn that on. Wait a few minutes as it loads those extra textures in. Hit Done. And back, back into the game, and you can see now there's there are different textures on this cobblestone and on the wood up here. So you can see there's like a little uh, little hole right there. You can see these rocks look different in the cobblestone. So it makes things look a little more natural, a little less repetitive, which uh, Minecraft tends to look pretty repetitive after a while, especially if you have a super high resolution texture pack. But yeah, you can see even, even this uh, grass looks really nice because it's just, it's not repetitive. All right, so let's look at another situation here. You can actually en enable multiple resource packs. Let's start off with this red craft though. This will take a second to load in.
This one's really high resolution, a lot of detail. But this resource pack doesn't include textures for everything. So like if you look at these villagers, you can see that they still look like regular default Minecraft. Well, maybe we don't want that. Um, so we can combine resource packs to fix that. So we'll go back into options and resource packs. And we're going to select John Smith Legacy. Whatever, whatever is on top is going to take precedence. So we're going to move Redcraft to the top. And underneath it, we've got John Smith Legacy. Well, John Smith Legacy uh, has textures for the villagers, whereas Redcraft doesn't. So putting it below Redcraft means that those villagers will still have textures. So we're going to hit Done. Wait a second, as all those textures load in, that's a lot of them. And there you can see now this villager is textured. We also got some other goofy things going on here, and that's because um, Redcraft does not have alternate textures, whereas John Smith does. So if we run into that issue, then we need to turn off alternate blocks. So we're going to turn that off, and that should fix it. So there we are. We have our villager who's fully textured and we've got red, Redcraft still enabled. So that's how you mix different textures. Uh, one other thing I want to show you about Optifine is if you look at these window panes you can see they've got a border in the middle. Uh, this border that or this frame that goes all the way around them. Um, I personally think that looks ugly but Something that Optifine can do, and actually, let me go over here, you can see those books also have frames around them. So something that Optifine can do is get rid of those. We're going to go into video settings, we're going to go to quality. And over here it's called connected textures. So we're going to turn that on. It'll take a little bit because it's got to reload all the textures again. I'm going to set it to fancy and done. And now you can see it's all one big pane of glass and you can see that there are no borders in between those textures. So I think that's something that looks pretty cool. Oh that's interesting. Sometimes texture packs or resource packs mix in weird ways so I would I would say only uh, mix them if you really need to or if something's really bugging you. But I'm going to disable both of these and turn on Chroma Hills, which is my absolute favorite resource pack. I think the cartoony look really looks good with the blockiness of Minecraft. So we're going to turn that on. And it's got a lot of nice alternate blocks. You can see here that, you know, we've got this big weird looking rock size. We've got a little plant here, and that's all just on the cobblestone. You can, you can see that path. We've got rocks in the pathway. Yeah, just looks really good, I think. The flowers look nice. It, I don't think it looks out of place in Minecraft. That's the blacksmith. He's got to be the blacksmith. Yep, or weaponsmith. All right, so uh, one more thing I'm going to show you is bump mapping. Some resource packs include bump mapping. Uh, I know that Chroma Hills does. But bump mapping will only work with shaders, so I'm going to turn on shaders. If you don't know how to install shaders, I will link a video at the end of this that will show you how to do them. I produced it a couple weeks ago. So we're going to turn on, I've got Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders installed, version 11, latest version. Looks amazing. And there we are. You can tell my frame rate took a massive hit but everything looks beautiful. But we still don't have bump mapping. Well that's because a lot of texture, oh, we have some bump mapping here on the dirt. We don't have it on the walls. Uh, a lot of texture packs, actually I've never seen one that include, that does include it, but a lot of texture packs do not have bump mapping on the alternate textures, so we need to turn that back off in order to see the bump mapping. So we're gonna, oh wait, it's off. Uh, so sometimes connected textures will also turn on the alt alternate blocks. A little unsure of why that is, but we're just going to turn that off. 
and that should enable the bump mapping. And as you can see, we've got some subtle bumping right here. You can see the highlights there on the edge of the rock, some shadows. And uh, yeah, you can see it on, see shadows underneath the wood slats there and on the dirt. So uh, that's about it for resource packs. Uh, if you like this video, please like it uh, and subscribe to the channel. If you find these um, if you find these tutorials helpful, please let me know. If there's something you'd like to see me make a tutorial on, also please suggest that. I'm I'm looking for suggestions. Uh, this video itself was a was a suggestion. So uh, yeah, I'm open to doing that. If you like my teaching style, I'd be happy to to uh, to teach and help out. Uh, again, if you want to learn how to install shaders in Minecraft 1.12, just check out this video that I'm linking right now. Thanks for watching. Meh. Meh.